Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The US government is trying to rely on its dominant position in the chip field and impose restrictions on chip exports, like a pair of ruthless hands, in an attempt to strangle the throat of China's technological development, forcibly curb the pace of China's technological progress, and hinder China's efforts in the global technology track. Faced with such strong external pressure, many people can't help but feel worried, worrying whether the Chinese chip industry can hold its ground under this stormy suppression, whether it will be unable to recover in this difficult competition and fall into an irreversible predicament. However, the facts have given the most powerful response to all skeptics. As the ancient Chinese wisdom says, misfortune is the source of blessing. This seemingly crisis-ridden predicament actually quietly contains unlimited development opportunities. The Chinese chip industry is like a phoenix reborn from the ashes in a raging fire. Not only has it not been defeated by the U.S. restrictive policy, but it has bravely moved forward and made progress in many key core areas amid numerous difficulties and obstacles. In the field of domestic CPUs, Lunsen is undoubtedly a high-flying and inspiring flag. In the fourth quarter of last year, Lunsen 3A600 was launched like a heavy bomb, causing a thousand waves in the domestic and even international chip markets. This chip, which embodies the efforts and wisdom of countless scientific researchers, is deeply imprinted with the distinctive pure domestic mark in every link and every process from the initial design concept to the final manufacturing landing. Its birth marks that China has finally successfully broken free from the shackles of long-term dependence on foreign technology in the field of CPU technology and has achieved a major leap from being controlled by others to independent control. In terms of performance, Lunsen 3A600 is equally impressive, and its various performance indicators have gradually caught up with the international first-line level, showing strong technical strength and development potential. What is more worth mentioning is that it has great advantages in price and is very affordable. It can perfectly meet the actual needs of the domestic market, allowing more companies and users to enjoy the high-quality services and convenient experience brought by domestic chips. At the same time, the Lunsen team is not satisfied with the current achievements, but adhering to the spirit of excellence and continuous progress, and devoting themselves to the improvement of the ecosystem day and night. They are committed to making domestic CPUs no longer isolated and fighting alone islands, but gradually building a vibrant, mutually cooperative, mutually beneficial, and win-win ecological environment to lay a solid foundation for the long-term development of China's chip industry. In the GPU market, NVIDIA has long been in a monopoly position. With its advanced technology and powerful performance, its products are widely used around the world and occupy a large market share. However, domestic Birin technology bravely stood up and launched a strong challenge to this industry giant. The self-developed GPU, carefully launched by Birin Technology, BR100, is like a bright new star that suddenly bloomed in the night sky. It quickly emerged in the fiercely competitive market and attracted many eyes. This high-performance graphics card can not only easily cope with high-end, complex and technically demanding application scenarios such as artificial intelligence and autonomous driving, but also highly matches the actual needs of the domestic market in terms of performance and development potential, providing strong technical support for the development of related domestic industries. With excellent products, 
like BR100, domestic companies are more confident and no longer easily controlled by others when facing the international supply cut crisis. Looking back, the long-term over-reliance on imports in the domestic chip field is undoubtedly like a heavy boulder that has always hung in the hearts of the Chinese people and has become a major hidden danger restricting the development of the industry. Once any link of imported equipment and imported technology is stuck in the neck, it will be like a domino, bringing huge impact and challenges to the entire industry, leading to the rupture of the industrial chain and stagnation of production. However, after years of hard work and unremitting struggle, the current situation has undergone tremendous changes. The self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips has steadily increased year by year, and domestic companies have become more confident and more confident in market competition. Especially in recent years, the number of patent applications in the domestic semiconductor field has shown an explosive growth trend. This data clearly and powerfully shows that Chinese companies are no longer satisfied with the past imitation and following, but have unswervingly embarked on the road of independent innovation, actively and proactively accumulated their own core technologies, and strive to create a bright business card for China on the stage of the global chip industry. Take photonic chips as an example. As one of the key core technologies in the future high-tech field, photonic chips have shown great development potential with their significant advantages such as fast speed and low energy consumption. Since its birth, it has attracted global attention and has become a high-tech highland for researchers from various countries to compete. In this emerging field full of challenges and opportunities, Chinese researchers have quietly taken root, worked hard, and steadily promoted related research and development, work with perseverance and the spirit of exploration. At present, China has made important breakthroughs in some key areas, and its technical reserves are becoming increasingly solid and strong. The achievement of these achievements has not only greatly enhanced the competitiveness of China's chip industry in the international market, but also opened up a vast space for the future development of China's chip industry, allowing China to have more voice and initiative in the global scientific and technological competition.